Patrick Watson and I'm joined here at Enterprise Connect 2019 by Laurie Wright, General Manager for Microsoft Office 365. Laurie, thank you for joining me. I wanted to talk to you specifically about one of my favourite platforms, Microsoft Teams, which I think this week, are we talking about the second year anniversary of the worldwide launch? Teams turns two, it's a toddler. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. hopefully not re reaching the terrible twos. I <laughs> know, terrific twos. The terrific twos. Right. Um, so I wanted to get an update about the growth of the platform over the two years. It's been pretty impressive. It has. So Teams is, again, in two short years, the growth has just been extraordinary. Today we announced we have 500,000 organizations, actually more than 500,000 organizations, who are now using Teams. And that includes many of the largest companies in the world. Um, it also includes 91 of the Fortune 100. So Teams is just continuing to grow and expand. You know, we're available in 181 markets, 44 languages. So it's truly a global platform. It's a global platform, and one thing, I do a regular podcast with Tom Arbuthnot, who's one of your Microsoft MVPs, who knows so much about the, the platform. What I've been surprised at is every month he comes to me and he brings me a summary of the new features and updates, and I think there can't possibly be any more, and it's just never-ending, the speed of development. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's one thing that we're equally impressed by, just having now the platform there and being able to, you know, put out so many of these features so much faster than we ever have before. And it's really, it is the scalability and the architecture of the platform that's letting us do that. Um, so all of these sorts of things, you know, we uh, last year announced that in a six-month period of time, we had put out more than 100 features, uh, new features, and we're just continuing to evolve at that rapid pace. Yeah, fastest growing Microsoft business application of all time. Pretty impressive. And this week for Enterprise to Connect 19, you've tried to keep me as busy as possible by, I think in total there's something like eight new features that you, you announced this morning in your keynote. That's right. Yeah, eight. You want me to try and name them all now? Uh, no, no, we won't go that far. But it, what, what's your particular favorite? I know the, the whiteboard feature is something that you're very keen on. It, it did cause a big stir this morning in the keynote. It is. I mean, the whiteboard feature is just something so innovative. And what it is, is anyone who's ever experienced being a remote participant in a meeting and has sat there and watched someone in the room go and try and write on the physical whiteboard. Painful. Painful right? It's either the fact that you can't, what's been written on the whiteboard isn't legible, or that the person's physical body is blocking what's on the whiteboard. And so we're changing that. And, you know, it was one of the great things we announced today. Uh, and what it is, is it's about taking the human body and making it transparent. And so we have content uh, cameras that allow us to capture what's happening on the whiteboard, and then we can come in and intelligently process and basically make that human body transparent so that you can see through. And not only that, we can then go and enhance, refocus, size what's on the whiteboard just to make it even more legible. Yeah, and actually make that content you know applicable for a meeting, which, which would be really important. I think my favorite of the eight that I've picked out is the customizable backgrounds. Ah, customizable backgrounds. I mean, these are such a crowd delighter. It's one of the things we got to show internally before we announced it today. And I think it just resonates with everyone so well when we, you know, showed it to our field and there was just this like uproar of applause because, you know, if you're, if you're in sales, if you're working remotely, all of these sorts of uh, environments, you need to have a great background, but you're not always in a place that has a great background. And so now with this background replacement technology, you don't need a green screen. You can essentially upload any static photo or any video and have it become your background. So, so the customizable backgrounds, I work mostly from my living room, and unfortunately my living room isn't particularly glamorous, so a nice customizable background is always appealing to me. But there's also lots of features that you've developed in teams that specifically help the enterprises, and I know uh, privacy and compliance is a big consideration that you have when you're developing new features. It is. I mean, um, Teams is built on the security and compliance foundation of Microsoft, and so we really think a lot about you know what's happening in today's threat landscape and understanding what are the needs of today's businesses. And so we've gone you know through many many certifications to make sure that Teams can be used as broadly um, as possible across regulated industries. And then we've also taken the same security foundation that applies to Office 365 and applied that to Teams as well. And one of the, one of the updates was the, was the private channels as well that, you, that you've added yeah. to this. And yeah, so private channels is fantastic. It's actually one of our uh, most requested features, as you might imagine. 
And it, it's a really unique feature in that we're not just locking down the text that's going back and forth, but we actually have to lock down the file as well, so the file content. So it's a really gnarly engineering problem if you think about how Teams is built on groups and being able to you know, make sure that that information, just the texts that are going back and forth are, are secure, but also that file content as well.